Guys, I, the procession is going to enter. Please, please be in your positions. And please direct all the guests towards the respective rows.
before we begin today's ceremony may i please request everybody at the back to please be seated and i would also request all of you to kindly put your mobile phones in the silent mode i nishita kedia on behalf of anant national university extend my warmest welcome to all of you to this historic third convocation of anant national university respected padma shri balkrishna doshi our keynote speaker for today president mr ajay piramal provost dr anunay chobe honorable members of the board and trust dr rk shah shri mahendra bhat shri ishwar bhav sir shri ss rathor shri lalchand soni shri jitu bhai modi shri durgesh agarwal honorable members of board and trust connected with us virtually deans directors faculty and staff of anant national university our heroes for today the graduating students and the proud parents who are connected with us virtually today is a very special day for all of us as we gather after a long pause after a year and a half of battling our way through the covid-19 pandemic we've all gone through a lot this last year but it only gave us the strength to accomplish together even while being apart today we are all gathered here to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduating students from the batch of 2020 and 2021 who are on the threshold of a new life a new beginning towards joining the wider world at anantyu we have constantly endeavored to prepare and empower solutionaries revolutionary thinkers who take a solution oriented approach today is therefore more special for us as we bid adieu to the founding batches of the mdes program a program designed with a multidisciplinary approach to handle complex real life challenges today we also bid adieu to the founding class of 16 fellows of climate action the anant fellowship for climate action was a unique immersive program with no parallel in the world and we are delighted that this cohort of fellows will become a community of climate change solutionaries as the first ever alumni of anant national university in this time that you have spent with us we are certain that you have blossomed and now ready to assume new roles and responsibilities of course there are mixed emotions but you deserve to hold a keen sense of pride because you've all made it here and we are here to we are all here to celebrate this day with elan it is now time for us to seek the blessings of the divine may i request our fourth year bachelor of architecture student miss sirin saj to offer our prayers to goddess saraswati through a beautiful recital so she may guide us all in our future endeavors
Thank you so much, Serene, for the beautiful rendition and filling the space with a positive fervor. It is now my honor to introduce our provost, Dr. Anunay Chaube, who has been a perennial source of strength to Anantyu. A dynamic man with a strong vision, his leadership is enabling the institution to scale new heights. As you may know, Dr. Chaube is a well-known artist and academic in the fields of literature and art history. Over the past 10 years, he has taught courses on art appreciation, which gives an evolutionary account of the arts. He has a wide administrative experience in the education space and has contributed to several institution building exercises in both India and abroad. Dr. Chaube has been the principal College of Arts and Craft at Patna University and the Deputy Dean of the Postgraduate Young India Fellowship Program at Ashoka University. At Anantyu, apart from leading the administrative chair, Dr. Chaube is also the director of the coveted Anant Fellowship Program. May I request you, sir, to please come and deliver the customary message to our graduating students. Thank you and uh, congratulations to everybody who is graduating today. Most respected Professor B.V. Doshi, who's here with us uh, virtually. Our guest of honor for this occasion, Sri Ajay Piramalji, President of Anant National University, Dr. R.K. Shah, Sri Mahendra Bhattiji, Sri Jitu Bhai Modiji, Sri Ishwar Bhai Bhavsarji, Trustees of uh, the Lakshman Gyan Peet and Sanskar Dham Trust, Sri S.S. Rathor Saab, Shri Amrut Patel Saab, Shri Dalip Thakarji, Shri Durgesh Agarwalji, members of the board of management and the governing body joining us here or remotely, welcome to you all. And thank you always for the support that you have lent us. Dear graduates on campus and online, parents, deans and directors, faculty, staff and students, on behalf of Anant National University, I welcome you all to the third convocation ceremony today. This day, indeed, marks a historic landmark in the history of our university. Our world is changing fast and threateningly so. Our climate is changing, a change that is of man's making, the way we live, caring just for ourselves, being mostly unmindful of the damage that it does to nature. We have been unmindful of contextual realities and have set aside traditional wisdom and connection with our roots. Following blindly a lifestyle and paradigms that are drawn from contexts different from our own. The pandemic has given us a rude shock, brought our lives and activities to a screeching halt. Each time the virus savaged us, but each time it made us stop in our tracks. Nature turned green and the air become cleaner. Each time the virus threatened us, threatened our health and claimed lives, Nature took steps towards recovering its health. The pandemic has given us a lesson. It has given us something to think about. It has given us something to act on. We need to operate in sync with nature, with our environment. We need to create a post pandemic world. We would need a new approach to living, a new approach to development, a new approach to create and to build, to live and work in harmony with nature. Dear graduates, as you graduate today, 
you would be stepping into this challenging world, bearing the responsibility of bringing sanity and health back into our built environment by integrating form with nature, by using means that are sustainable, by offering solutions that are contextual. Today, as our chief guest, we have the great honor to have here with us the Pritzker Laureate, Padm Bhushan, Margaret Bal Krishn, Vithal, Bhai, Vithal Das Doshi, who in his creations and in his thinking and teachings integrates his roots, traditions, his concerns for community and nature with sustainable contemporary technology and practices. Nothing could be more befitting on this occasion and global context, your graduation and our threatened world. Nothing could be more befitting here for you and for all of us here to hear from Professor Doshi, to learn from him, set our compass by his words and to always be inspired by him. Thank you, Professor Doshi, on behalf of all of us collected here and remotely on this occasion for making this ceremony a historic occasion for everyone, particularly for the graduates who will be stepping out into this world, learning from you, inspired by you. Best wishes to all graduating students. Go be a solutionary, make a difference. Best wishes to you always. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your inspiring words. It is now my great honor to introduce the backbone of Anant National University, our president, Mr. Rajay Piramal, one of India's leading industrialists and philanthropists and chairman of the, of the Piramal Group. Mr. Piramal is regarded as a torchbearer for responsible entrepreneurship with a strong focus on doing well and doing good, a philosophy that has created long-term value for the group's stakeholders and the community as a whole. A firm believer in the tenets of the Bhagavad Gita, Mr. Piramal is a passionate advocate of trusteeship and responsible business, business ethos. Conferred with several national and international recognitions, Mr. Piramal holds key positions on the boards of several company and prestigious institutions. It is our pleasure that Mr. Ajay Piramal is joining us live to send across his best wishes to the graduating cohort of Anant National University. I request you all to welcome sir with a big round of applause. Thank you. Our chief guest for this convocation ceremony, Padma Bhushan Sri B. V. Doshi, the most eminent architect of our times and an inspiration to all of us. The trustees of the Lakshman Gyanpeet and the Sanskar Dham Trust, members of the board of management of Anand University, our provost, Dr. Chobe, our deans, teachers, and my dear graduating students, and your parents who are joining us virtually and well wishers. Indeed, I'm indeed very happy to be able to welcome you today in these very difficult times. The pandemic has tested all nations, communities and institutions the world over, and our institution has been no exception. But here at Anand, we face the challenge with your support, spirit of resilience and innovation. Our university has lived up to its commitment to serve the community through innovation by drawing from Indian roots and cutting edge technical know-how from around the world 
as well as from the solution-oriented mindset of our faculty and students. Apart from carrying out our primary obligation of teaching and training our students on an online platform, we worked on creating recovery spaces and mobile testing labs in partnership with a range of institutions and set up over 2,500 beds for COVID patients across seven states in the country. Our institution is committed to devising solutions for challenges the world and our community face today. But this wouldn't have been possible without inspiration from luminaries who have served the community with their work and their vision. Indeed, we are privileged today to have as our chief guest, Padma Bhushan, Sri Bibi Doshi, an inspiration to everybody across the world, not just architects who are passionate about creating a just and a built environment. Mr. Doshi brings about what is the best in the Western architecture, as well as the Indian culture. With a deep respect for Indian history and culture, elements of his youth, memories of shrines, temples and busting streets, sense of lacquer and wood from his grandfather's furniture workshop. All these are reflected in his work. He's had the privilege of working with some of the world's best architects, whether it's Le Corbusier when he built Chandigarh and many other houses in Ahmedabad, or when he did the work with Louis Kahn on the famous Indian Institute of Management in Ahmedabad. Sri Doshi has been several, has received several honors from all over the world, including India, but globally too, and of course, the well-renowned Pritzker Prize. It is indeed a great honor for us, sir, that you have been able to come and inspire our students today. The great, we take this opportunity to acknowledge the great contributions made by you in adding new dimensions to the idea of architecture and its practice. And for reminding all of us, it's human and community obligations. Today, on this occasion, as 304 students graduate from Ananthu and step into the world to make the impact, no person could serve as a better role model and a perennial inspiration for them and indeed, for all of us here than Sri B.V. Doshi. On behalf of Anand National University, I now invite Professor Snehal Nagarshet, the Dean School of Architecture, to present the Anand U inscription for lifetime achievement impact to Sri B.V. Doshi in gratitude for his phenomenal work and his vision in making a better India. Snehal Nagarshet, please. Hello, sir. Good evening, all. It gives me a great pleasure. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Absolutely, Thank you. Thank you. and a work for inspiration. And... Oh. Thank you so much for the wonderful gift. Hello. Hello. It gives me a great pleasure to welcome Mr. Ajay Peramal, the Honorable President of Governing Body of Anath National University, Dr. Anunay Chobe, the Honorable Provost of Anath U respected members of the board, distinguished faculty and guests, and of course, the graduates, your family, and the entire student body for the third convocation of Anant National University. It is indeed my privilege and honor to welcome Professor Doshi, who has not only been my teacher, but a mentor. I proudly state that he has been greatly instrumental in shaping me and many generations of architects. Sir, I must thank you your architecture was not just a building, but created a way of life 
breathing into us the values of openness, freedom, democracy, inclusiveness, and brought to the fore new traditions of questioning and respect all at once in all of us. Professor Doshi needs no formal introduction. However, just to state a few facts which are already stated, he's a recipient of Padma Shri, and in 2020, was awarded Padma Bhushan. He's the only Indian to receive the prestigious Pritzker Prize for Architecture in 2018, and has many more accolades bestowed on him. He has had a long practice of more than 60 years and continues to work till date. What I really admire about Sri Doshi's work is his ability to remain contemporary. His architecture exhibits his curiosity and ability to translate and transform pure modern to brutalist to critically Indian, not just in strategizing and delivering, but one which emerges with interactions, interludes, and develops an architecture which is tentative yet definitive. I hope for each student graduating today and for the ones in the past and for the ones in the future, Sri Bivi Doshi shall remain the eternal beacon of inspiration in the field of architecture and design. And on behalf of Anand National University, I'm happy to present to you the Angavastram and plaque to honor and thank you. So I've already done that and I'm sure the uh, audience would like to see that. So I will now request you to keep your camera on so that we can have, we can share your views to enlighten the young designers and architects who are stepping out today in the world. Isaac, hello. Hello. There has been interruptions, you know, in the current electricity. And so I'm so sorry that I have not been able to hear and welcome and congratulate Mr. Piramal for his uh, venture of doing this and setting up this fantastic university. I am privileged and I am honored that uh, the principal, you know, the head, you know, has invited me to be part and parcel of this convocation. Mm -hmm. And I would like to say that it's a venture which is not common. It was once only Kasturbai Lalbai, you know, who agreed and we set up a school of architecture in Ahmedabad. And now it is Mr. Pirambal who is set up this bigger, better and more adventurous university. And I am very sure that Anand University is going to make its own tradition, its own ventures, because the times have changed, circumstances have changed, visions have changed and now we are talking about not only global but interspatial you know we are now going into another satellite so communication has changed our way of life has changed our sense of time has changed and even our aspirations therefore have become very very fluid very different very open and I am very glad that this university is venturing into breaking all the boundaries. I think there seems to be some technical hitch and you're not getting the sound, sir. But I know when I came to visit you and offered you the plaque, you were extremely happy and delighted to hear about the university's various things and various forays into education. And we await sir, to reconnect with you. So Professor Dosh, today I went and met him and it is really an honor to meet somebody who has had such a long spell of work and he continues to inspire us and continues to work, continues to be relevant and continues to connect with us almost as though 
he is our age it is really wonderful for us to be around him to be inspired by him i remember a time when he used to tell me snail god is giving you a chance to be a tree to give shade and give shadow to all the people around you and i think i'm really inspired and i hope that i can continue to do that and i can shine the light that he has shown on us very generously we will still wait for you sir i hope we can connect back you can try Uh, we've received uh, a notification from uh, professor doshi's residence that there, there is a slight internet connectivity issue so they are trying to reconnect very soon so i would request all of you to please keep patience by the time we try and connect with professor doshi uh, there is a short movie uh, filmed on the life of professor doshi which i would request the it team to please play Hello. Sorry for the mishap. You know we have uh, inter interconnectivity is very difficult on this side. Yes, sir. So that is. And uh, I wish you know we had we have found an alternative. Let's hope that we do something. Yes. So it would be great if you can tell us a few words of and share with us some. words for the students who are graduating so okay. that okay 
I, I can say, I tell you, I was just thinking the way we started the school 60 years ago. And that was the time when we were having bullock carts. Now we have uh, interspaces, you know, movements now change. It seems uh, there is a break of uh, connectivity again. Maybe uh, Sunilji, uh, you can play the video of uh, Professor Doshi. Just tell Sunilji. Yeah. Can I speak? Hello, Professor Doshi in. He's back and he has some connectivity again. We can start again. See, I was just thinking, I was continuing that there are no more boundaries. Neither for or vision, or ability, or to the images or dreams, you know, that we have. What was not there 60 years ago? And I think another university, the advantage that we are talking of intercellular spaces. We are talking about a new vision of living, connecting life, working together, and realizing something which we want to dream. Dream and realization both go together. I think that is our talent. An architect, a creative person, a designer. People expect from us unusual. Something which can enchant them, something which can inspire them, something which can induce them to say, Oh, I never thought so. Can I break the ground? Can I break the boundaries? Sure, the Piramal who is sitting here is wishing that this university should break ground, break boundaries, and show to the world that we are the leaders in conceiving things, realizing things, and giving people an ideal habitat that their aspirations are. And I think. Everywhere you go, you go to Bombay, you go to places, you go to North, everybody's talking about environment, everybody's talking about ecology, everybody's talking about ecosystem, and all is connected to the vision. I think this is something which we have to think about. What is it? I think the college in which we said, Snail, your colleagues are there. What kind of things future wants? What is that future? What is that intangible, but realizable? 
and can we demonstrate that? And mind you, it is not only that demonstration, but we are talking about billion population. The scales have changed. Yes. Our visions have changed. The collaboration is limitless. Technology has become unusual, affordable, acceptable. But our problem in India is how do we really find that for the billion people? And what is it that we can do? It's not only house, it is not only food, it is not only work, it is also the aspiration. Future vision of Africa is going to be most remarkable in the sense that we have everything possible. But what kind of life are we talking about? What kind of relationships we are talking about? What kind of time, space, activity, relationship is there so that we get, like for example, just now we are working on the internet and we have crossed the distances. And we really now make it a part of our so My request to the younger people is think about this dream discover, create something so that everybody in the city, in the country, in the world is saying, my time is meaningful and I am enjoying my life. Energy, space, movement, connectivity, and community. I think there are many issues which have come compared to several decades ago. Now we are talking about all of them as one, not many. And at today's occasion, from the school, doing Anand University says we are the pioneers of conceptualizing. We are the pioneers who are going to direct new imagery, new world aspirations along with We are going to talk about holistic things. We are going to say there are many, many fragments, but we are connecting them together and creating something to have expected. And I think both are things that we can find if we got they get out of this, they will talk about these issues. We have to become politically, culturally conscious. We have to become a part. Hello, everybody. I believe we get the gist of what Professor Doshi was telling us. He was announcing to us that we need to dream new dreams. We need to have new visions and we need to create these new visions for all of us and for the world together and for the community and even at the intercept times. I think we are at a point in time where we can imagine absolutely new things and I wish you the very best to do so. I'm sure Professor Doshi would also wish you the same. Thank you so much. Well, I only want to say that let Anand University be the pioneer and the world which is missing very much. So you are launching bad and all of you in the next few decades could show us, show the country to the citizens and everybody around that there is some meaning to life, there is meaning to work, there is meaning to joy, and as India knows about celebrations, the new university, the new graduates will talk about celebrating life, holistic life, generous life, and I'm sure all of this, you have a strong backing of Mr. Karamal, and I want to again thank Mr. Karamal for giving this occasion 
to me as well as to the university to say, do what you wish, do what you dream, and we are all behind you. So thank you so much and all the best to all of you. I'm so sorry for the interruption. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I think I will pass the baton back to Nishita. Thank you. Thank you, Nishita. Thank you, Professor Snehal. May we have another big round of applause for Professor Bal Krishna Doshi. The entire hall is suddenly filled with a lot of inspiration and blessings from this great personality. On this note, we will now begin with conferring the diplomas and degrees to our graduating cohorts. I now invite our respected dignitaries, Provost Dr. Anunay Chaube, Honorable Members of the Board and Trust, Sri Mahendra Bhatt, Sri Amrit Patel, Sri Dilip Thakar, Sri Jitu Bhai Modi, Sri Durgesh Agarwal, Sri Ishwar Bhavsar, Dean, School of Architecture, Professor Snehal Nagarshet, who uh, will join with us shortly, Director, School of Design, Professor Anubha Kakru, Associate Dean, Academic Affairs, Professor Jasmine Gohil, Program Director, MIPD and Product Design, Professor Bhaskar Bhatt, to kindly grace the dais. So please. Since a lot of our graduating students couldn't make it to the ceremony today due to COVID restrictions, this year we shall confer the degrees and diplomas in a blended model. We will first begin with the third cohort of Anand Fellowship class of 2020. I would request our Provost Dr. Anunay Chaube, also the Director of the Anand Fellowship Program to kindly rise to confer the diplomas. We will first begin with the students who have joined us online from the class of 2020. May I request the IT team to please have the PPT on the screen. I will announce the name of the students in sequence of who are joining online. Ms. Adya Bauni. Can we have a huge round of applause? Mr. Abhijoy Banerjee. Ms. Aditi Joshi. Mr. Ajay Narayanan. Mr. Bruno Farias. Mr. Divyanshu Raj. Mr. Jeronimo Tuzo. Mr. Jihad, so I'm sorry, Ms. Jihad Chibani. Ms. Jubi Shaha. Ms. Kareshma. 
Mr. Lokesh Ghia. Ms. Neeti Patel. Ms. Prajakta Nene. Mr. Rohan Shinoy. Mr. Saurya Pratap Singh. Ms. Shivi Pathak. Ms. Shweta Singh. Mr. Vikash Khatri. With this, we come to the, to the end of conferring diplomas to our students who have joined us online. I will now request the students in sequence of the names that are announced to kindly come up on the stage to receive your diploma certificates from our Provost Dr. Anunay Chaube. May I please invite Mr. Arun Bishwanath. Ms. Dhawal Darzi. Ms. Dishuni Pandya. Ms. Hamida Fateha. Okay, I'm just told that Ms. Hamida Fateha is not uh, available with us here. So may I please request uh, Ms. Rashi Jain. Ms. Rutuja Patil. I'd request everybody to continue with your round of applauses, please. Mr. Sahil Harjai. Mr. Mishweta Jayashree. Ms. Shivani Shah. Hmm. Mr. Varun Pradhan. Mr. Aditya. I would request all the graduating students coming onto the stage to please pause for a moment to get a nice picture clicked. It is now time for the most awaited awards of the Anand Fellowship. For the same, I would now request our honorable dignitary, Sri Mahendra Bhatt, to kindly rise to confer the awards to the Anand Fellowship Batch of 2020. I would always also request our Provost, Dr. Anunay Chaube, to please join him. So can we have some noise for the awards? So the, so the first award for the Anand Fellowship Batch 2020 is the Fellow of the Year 2020. Do we have any guesses? Do we have any guesses? The Fellow of the Year 2020 goes to Jeronimo Tuzo. And since we don't have Mr. Jeronimo here today, we are conferring him the award online. Mr. Jeronimo Tuzo also receives the most outstanding academic performance award for the Anand Fellowship Batch of 2020. We now have the next award for the best live action project 2020 called as Sahas. May I please request, may I please request the team to kindly come up on stage and receive the award on behalf of all, of all the fellows who were a part of it. Miss, Mr. Abhijoy Banerjee, Ms. Hamida Fateha, Ms. Juvi Saha, Ms. Sweta Jayasri, Mr. Aditya SR, 
and Mr. Sahil Harjai. We have with us Ms. Swetha Jayashree and Sahil Harjai to receive the award on behalf of the entire team. And Aditya. We have the last award for this segment, which is the Spirit of Anand 2020. Do we have any guesses for the Spirit of Anand 2020? That's right, Mr. Lokesh Ghia has been awarded the Spirit of Anand 2020. Since Mr. Lokesh Ghia is not available with us here, we are conferring him the award online. Congratulations to all the students for, for being conferred with the diplomas and the awards. We will move to the next segment by conferring the awards and degrees to the fourth cohort of Anand Fellowship class of 2021. I would request Professor Chobe to please kindly rise again to confer the degrees, uh, sorry, the diplomas. Uh, we will again begin uh, with the students who are being conferred the diplomas online. So the students who, who are going to be conferred the degrees online are Emil Vajdi, Ms. Akansha Arya, Mr. Andrew Ayala, Ms. Archana Otmuri, Mr. Arpit Goyal, Mr. Emmanuel Timua, Ishembe Christian, Mogzan Kauchaki, K. Kavurani, Ms. Kritika Vare, Ms. Kanisha Shah, Ms. Nikita Sarkar, Ms. Nitya Joyce, Ms. Olina Chaudhary, Oluwasai Oguntoy, Ms. Prakriti Priya, Ms. Rashi Sirohi, Mr. Suresh Patil, and Ms. Sweta Bhushan. We will now begin conferring the diplomas to the students who are available with us physically. I would request you to kindly come in the queue. Mr. Abhishek Salumke. Abhishek, may I please request you to pause for a moment for a picture. Ms. Divnoor Kaur. Ms. Garima. Ms. Hesha Shah. Mr. Ojas Mali. Ms. Parveen Fatima. Ms. Peria Iswarya. Ms. Pooja Gangwar. Ms. Sadhya Bhatnagar. And Ms. Vishaka Patil.
Ms. Vishaka Patil. We again come back to our award section for the Anand Fellowship Batch of 2021. May I now request our honorable dignitary, Sri Amrut Patel, to kindly rise to confer the awards to the Anand Fellowship Batch of 2021. I would also request our provost to kindly join him in doing the honors. To begin with, the Fellow of the Year 2021. Do we have any guesses? The batch of 2021, you're very silent. The Fellow of the Year 2021 goes to Miss Olina Chaudhary. Miss Olina Chaudhary has not been physically available with us here, so we are conferring the award to her. Yes. And in fact, I, I, I would suggest that you do it for one second time because she also receives the President's Award for Most Outstanding Academic Performance. We now have the next award, which is the Director's Award for Academic Excellence. And surprisingly, we have a tie here. So the, so the first candidate is Miss Nitya Joyce. Miss Nitya Joyce is joining us virtually. So Miss Nitya Joyce is joining us virtually. And the second candidate is Miss Parveen Fatima, who is here with us. I would request Parveen to kindly come up to the stage. I'm so sorry, because there is also a third candidate who receives the Director's Award for Excellence uh, in Academics. And that is Ms. Shweta Bhushan. Ms. Shweta Bhushan is also not available with us physically, so we will confer her the award virtually. Now the next that we come to is the best live action project 2021. Any guesses? Yes, you're absolutely right. It goes to Sikka. I would like to name the team members, Mr. Emmanuel Natimua, Ms. Divnoor Kaur, Ms. Sadhya Bhatnagar, Ms. Hesha Shah, and Ms. Nikita Sarkar. On behalf of the entire team, I request Ms. Divnoor Kaur, Sadhya Bhatnagar, and Hesha Shah to kindly come up and receive the award. We now come to the last award for the Anand Fellowship Batch of 2021, which is the Spirit of Anand 2021. Do we have any guesses for this extremely prestigious award? No noise. <laughs> so the Spirit of Anand 2021 goes to Mr. Abhishek Salunke. I request Mr. Abhishek Salunke to kindly come up on the stage. I would like to congratulate all the students from the Anand Fellowship Batch of 2020 and 2021 on being conferred with the diplomas and the awards. On behalf of the entire Anand Fellowship cohort, I would now like to invite our Anand Fellow, Ms. Olina Chaudhary, who has connected with us virtually to share her experiences at the Anand Fellowship 
and deliver the valedictorian address on behalf of her cohort. May I request the IT team to kindly connect us with Olina. Hello, everyone. I know it's pretty ironic that you're actually seeing me online and not in person. But however, my grandmother always said one thing. She said, something is better than nothing. So I think whatever is happening right now is happening for the best of reasons. So here I am, Alina Chaudhary, speaking to you through a screen. And this is the screen, which was the reality for each one of us through the entire past year. However, please allow me to welcome each one of you, faculties, staff members, the academic team, the fellowship team, and also each one of you graduates and your family members as well to the Anand Fellowship 2021 convocation at Anand National University, Ahmedabad in Gujarat. So first things first, before we begin, I would like you to know that this is actually going to be a finite experience. And this experience for you is just going to last for only three minutes. So I really hope that I'm not going to bore you, which is why I would like your complete attention while I speak. So before we begin, I would really like to say that the past one year has been a mix and match and a combination of a lot of different memories. We've made hectic memories together. We've also made lovely and beautiful memories. We've made technical memories and so many different types of memories. So of course, like our Anand Fellowship, was hectic in certain places, especially when we had to study so much of study material. We had so many assignments, individual assignments, group assignments, class presentations, individual presentations. And at the end, we also made movies and videos as well, which was extremely interesting. Apart from that, we definitely did also have certain technical and digital memories, like I was mentioning. And a couple of these would definitely be the Zoom invites, the Google Classroom invites, the Google Calendar invites, and so many different things. And of course, let me not forget the ones that we most dreaded, which were the feedback forms. In fact, I'm a little guilty of sending some myself. However, we also made some tremendously beautiful memories with some of the most eminent faculties present. Because we not just learned a lot of different skills, but we also learned how to be empathetic towards each other and also learn to be interdependent rather than always being independent. So apart from all of these memories, I feel like it's now time to talk a little bit about the real world. Now, one of fellowship has actually trained each one of us to be solutionaries and go and look out and seek for solutions in the real world. But what is this real world that we're really talking about? Well, this is exactly the world which was butchered and it was basically killed through a lot of different climate changes, through some political issues, social issues, caste issues, gender issues, and of course, the growing divide between the rich and the poor. However, the good news is right over here. Each one of us fellows, we are basically going to be the ones who will go out there and fix the world and make it a really, really better place to live together. Which is why I would also really encourage each one of you to not actually suppress the beautiful creative magic that you actually bring with yourselves, but actually try and harness it and turn it into something really potential because I feel each one of you are incredible people, not just as individuals, but all of us are incredible, even when we are together. Which is why I would now like to end my speech with a small quote from Alice in Wonderland. And it happens to be one of my favorite quotes. And I really feel that each one of you would love it as well. So the quote goes as, so you are mad, you're bonkers, and you're completely off your head. But I'll tell you a little secret. All the best people are. Thank you so much and have a great time ahead. Thank you. Thank you so much, Olina, for capturing your journey at the Anand Fellowship so beautifully. With this, we will now move to the next segment, which is the Anand Fellowship for Climate Action Batch of 2021. On behalf of Dr. Minya Chatterjee, I would request our Provost, Dr. Anunay Chaube, to confer the diplomas to our Fellows for Climate Action. Since the Fellowship for Climate Action is a unique cohort of students from across the world, we have all of them connected with us virtually. Hence, we will confer the degrees and awards to all the students online.
I will name, I will call out the names in sequence. Mr. Aman Gupta. Ms. Bhamini Jain. Ms. Elisa Valet. Elliot Connor. Mr. Himang Velour. Mr. Karthik Kumar. Mr. Mohit Garg. Mr. Mudit Nigam. Mr. Ra Raja Muzaffar Bhatt. Ms. Ruchi Kothari. Ms. Shreya Basu. Ms. Mr. Shwetang Munani. Mr. Sijo Ibrahim. May I please request our audience to, to please uh, shower them with a big round of applause. Ms. Sumamani Vedula. Mr. Sumit Arora. And Mr. Vinayak Nambiar. Can I request all of these students who have joined us online to kindly switch on their videos? May I request the IT team to kindly let the students in? Since we have Dr. Minya Chatterjee with us, I would request Dr. Minya to kindly come forward and deliver a customary address to the students of AFCA. Can I request the IT team to kindly connect to Dr. Minya Chatterjee? Yes, I also thanks. see our founding provost, Dr. Pramat Raj Sinha here connected with us on Zoom. So I would like to welcome him. Thank you so much. Um, it's such a pleasure. Such a First graduating cohort of the Aram Fellowship for Climate Action. It was a dream for us a few months ago, and uh, you know the year has flown past, and it's really um, I've seen from close quarters your grit, um, the hard work that each one of you have put in. Um, I just wanted to congratulate all of you, have the spotlight on you all today, and just remind you that of course you know you've learned a lot um, during this year, you know across different terms, a lot of uh, knowledge gained. But uh, the most important thing that we hope that you take with you are the values, are the fellowship values. And once again, you know, those are humility, gratitude, grit, and collaboration. You know, without those values, um, tackling a wicked problem such as climate change, you know, you won't be able to get anywhere much without uh, being rock solid on these values. So all the best on your journeys ahead. Uh, each one of you is a shining star. Each one of you is a shining star and you all are set to achieve great things. Uh, we will keep in touch with you. Like I said, like Pramath also said, fellowship is just the beginning. We will be in touch with you. You're, um, you know, we will be part of your lives. Um, and, um, and, and, and you will always be proud to see not only your success in you know, traditional terms in terms of profession, but also your personal successes and how as individuals, you, um, you, know, you, 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 you translate these fellowship values into your lives and how you live these values in your life. And that's gonna make us very, very proud. Thank you so much. All the very best. Thank you, Anant National University for all the support that you've given our fellows all through. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Minya for connecting with us. I would also request you to please stay with us because the next segment is going to be the awards. So we have several awards for the Anand Fellowship for Climate Action 2020, 2021, I'm sorry. So the first award is for the most engaged fellow. The award for the most engaged fellow is a tie. We have two candidates receiving the same award Ms. Shreya Basu and Ms. Ruchi Kothari. Our next award is the Academic Excellence Award for AFCA 2021. 
and the recipient is Mr. Aman Gupta. For the next award, which is the AFCA Impact Award 2021, we again have a tie. Mr. Mohit Garg and Mr. Sumit Arora. Can we have a big round of applause for them? And lastly, the spirit of the fellowship 2021 goes to Mr. Sijo Ibrahim. Thank you so much, Dr. Chave. And congratulations to all the awardees. I would now like to invite our student, Mr. Vinayak Nambiar, who has connected with us virtually to share his experiences at AFCA and deliver the valedictory address on behalf of his cohort. May I request the IT team to kindly connect us with Mr. Vinayak Nambiar. Greetings, fellow fellows. I was pleasantly surprised to hear that I was nominated to deliver this year's graduation speech. I suppose you really wanted to see me without my video off one last time. Jokes aside though, it is truly an honor to represent this court. What a year we've had, from living through the arduous stages of a pandemic, figuring out how to do everything, and I mean everything online, to understanding the nuts and bolts of this wicked problem we call climate change, as it happens in real time across the globe. I think I speak for many of us when I say that while I came into this fellowship knowing that I wanted to make a tangible difference, I didn't know precisely how to do so. This course has given us the training, resources, support, and platforms to better realize our potential, share thoughts, collaborate, and give shape to our ideas. We have our work cut out for us. Equipped with the tools to see through the mere words and promises that are unfortunately still quite common in the climate space, we must continue with our projects, whether it is tackling overconsumption, transitioning to clean energy, regenerative agriculture, researching and implementing comprehensive policies, managing waste streams, or educating society. Large or small, these projects matter. While current systems may not be ideal for affecting the kind of change we need, I remain optimistic, more so than ever. We must work with what we have and improve on it as we go along. What gives me most hope is the fact that we are a part of an ever-growing tribe of dreamers and action takers, of solutionaries, and we will change the world to one that is far more equitable and sustainable. At the same time, I would also like to remind you that while working for others and the planet, please do take some time for yourself. Speaking from personal experience, it is critical that we take care of ourselves physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Only then can we be most effective. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the university and especially the team at the Center for Sustainability for putting the program together and ensuring that most things went off without a hitch. You're all the real superstars. Until we meet again. Thank you so much, Vinayak, for capturing your wonderful journey at Anand Pew so beautifully. With this, we will come to the next category, which is the degrees, the degrees that is going to be conferred to the MDES program. We will now, I would request Director of School of Design, Professor Anubha Kakru, and Program Director of MIPD, Professor Bhaskar Bhatt, to kindly rise to confer the degrees. I will first announce the name of the students who have joined with us virtually from the class of 2018-2020. Ms. Kimira Tara. Ms. Meenal Kohale, Ms. Palak Patel. I would now request the students who are physically present here with us to kindly come up on the stage to receive your certificates. May I please request Ms. Anubha Yadav. Can we have a big round of applause for Ms. Anubha Yadav? 
Mr. Mohammad Afzal Bagot. Mr. Prakash Selvaraj. Okay, Prakash doesn't seem to be with, her, with us here. So the next one is Ms. Sabita Shri. I would now request our honorable dignitary, Sri Dilip Thakur, to kindly join Professor Anubha Kakru and Professor Bhaskar Bhatt in conferring the awards to the students of MDES program 2018-2020. The award, the Academic Excellence Award for the MIPD program 2018-2020 goes to Ms. Meenal Kohale. Ms. Meenal is not, has not been able to join us here physically, so we are conferring the award to her virtually. We have the next award, which is the best student award. And the best student award for MIPD 2018-2020 goes to Ms. Sabita Shri. Can we have a big round of applause for Sabita? We now have the next award, which is the best thesis award for MIPD 2018-2020. And the best thesis award goes to Ms. Kimira Tara, who is joining with us virtually. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, sir. We would now begin conferring the award, uh, the diplomas and degrees to the MDES batch of 2019 and 2021. I would request, I'm going to first announce the student who's joining with us virtually, Mr. Bibek Sa. And I now request Mr. Nakul Sharma to kindly come up on the stage and receive the degree for MIPD 2019-2020. May I now request Mr. Suchit Thakkar to kindly come up on stage and receive the degree for MIPD 2020. I would now request Mr. Nirmay Shah, who successfully completed the MDES program in urban design and development. May I now request again uh, our honorable dignitary Sri Dilip Thakur to confer the awards for the MIPD program 2020. The Academic Excellence Award for MIPD 2019-2020 goes to Mr. Suchit Thakur. Any guesses for the best student award? The best student award for MIPD 2019-20 goes to Nakul Sharma. The best thesis award goes to Mr. Bibek Shah, who has joined with us virtually. Congratulations to all the students and 
stu students for successfully completing their degrees and for the awards received. Thank you so much, Professor Anubha Kakru and the dignitaries for doing the honors. With this, we will now proceed with the degrees confer degree conferring to the School of Architecture. I would request Associate Dean Academic Affairs, Professor Jasmine Gohill to kindly rise on behalf of Professor Snehal Nagarshet, Dean School of Architecture, who's not present here with us. I would also request Provost Dr. Anunay Chobe to kindly rise to confer the degrees to our graduating students. Following the same sequence, I will first announce the name of the students who are being conferred the degrees online. So the first student is Mr. Arjun Prajapati. Mr. Dev Oza. Ms. Javnika Shah. Ms. Jui Pandit. Mr. Karthik Kumar Patel. Everybody seems to be very tired suddenly. Mr. Kunal Baldania. Ms. Mahima Ranka. Ms. Mansi Patel. Ms. Mansi Sangvi. Mr. Manthan Thakkar. Ms. Priya Patel. Ms. Purva Pansuria. Ms. Riya Nagar. Ms. Vishwa Modi. Mr. Dharmik Panchal. Mr. Hemil Luhar. Shridai Patel. And Rushvi Patel. May I request all of these students who are connected with us virtually to kindly switch on their videos. Can I request the IT team to kindly connect us with them virtually. May I request the students of the School of Architecture Batch 2015-2020 to kindly switch on your videos. And it suddenly feels like the classroom again. <laughs> I think in that case, we will go ahead uh, by inviting our students who are physically present here with us. Uh, in sequence, I will start announcing the names. Mr. Meet Patel. Ms. Shrushti Dhorajia. I'd request the students to kindly queue up in the same sequence that you have been seated. Mr. Meet Patel. Ms. Shrushti Dhorajia. Mr. Vraj Patel. Ms. Aishwarya Trivedi. Ms. Aneri Trivedi. Mr. Anuj Mewada. Ms. Apurvi Sahu. Ms. Charmi Gildar. Can we have a big round of applause for all our students receiving the de degree for this Bachelor of Architecture? Chinar Shah. Okay, Chinar is not available with us. So we have the next student, Mr. Dharmik, Dharmin Jambukia. 
Ms. Drumali Chauhan. Ms. Drashri Parekh. Ms. Drashri Vyas. Ms. Forum Sangvi. We have a long list, so I'd request everybody to kindly continue with your applauses. Ms. Garima Mehta. Mr. Hari Om Suthar. Ms. Himadri Gohil. Himadri doesn't seem to be uh, with us here as well. Hiraj Patodia. Next we have with us Ishani Saraswat. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Jainil Shah. Jay Kumar Darzi. I think Jay is also not present here with us physically. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It seems you've changed your look. Jay Prajapati. Jeel Shah. Kushi Broker. Ms. Kritika Tahilyani. Kushani Shah. Meet Vedya. Meet Vedya. Meshwa Patel. Parishi Shah. Parth Misri. Ms. Pooja Gupta. Okay, Ms. Pooja Gupta is not here with us. Uh, Ms. Renshi Ragwani. Ms. Richa Shah. Come on, School of Architecture, big round of applause for all your, for all your friends. Ms. Riddhi Mehta. Mr. Rohan Pancholi. Ms. Rutu Patel. Ms. Saloni Christian. Ms. Shimona Fernandez. Ms. Shreya Shah. Smith Patel. Vishwa Patel. Miss Archie Shah.
मिस भारती फरकी वाला मिस्टर दिशांक सुथार मिस्टर जसविंदर छाबरा We have another student graduating, Herin Chaudhary, who is not uh, who is not joined us physically. Mr. Jaswinder Chabra, Jinal Mehta, Riya Shah, Miss Ruthvi Soni. and mr charvin patel it is now time for us to announce the academic awards for the same i would now request our honorable dignitary shri durgesh agarwal to kindly rise to confer the awards to the students from batch 2015 2020 May I also request our provost, Dr. Anunay Chaube, to join him in doing the same. Since we have the maximum presence from the School of Architecture Batch 2015-2020, so I'm 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 hoping that we have a lot of guesses for all the award segments. So the first award segment is the Academic Excellence Award. Do we have any guesses? Absolutely correct, Mr. Parth Misri. Parth, may I please request to kindly come up on stage? Congratulations Parth The next award is the best student award Do we have any guesses for the best, best student Yes Mr Jay Rajapati Jay can I please request you to kindly come on stage, stage to receive this award The next award is the best thesis award. And the best thesis award for School of Architecture 2015-2020 goes to Ms. Charmi Gilder. I would also like to announce here that Ms. Charmi Gilder was guided by Professor Poonam Trambadia. congratulations to all the students and the awardees i now request a student mr jay prajapati from batch 2015 2020 to kindly come up on stage and share his experiences at anantyu and deliver the valedictory address on behalf of his cohort thank you sir for joining us
A good afternoon and my warmest welcome to everyone present in this room, both physically and virtually. Today, I stand as a medium to articulate the remarkable ride that the class of 2015 has been through, and I'm delighted to do so. It's been one year since we silently be reduced to one of the most memorable chapters of our lives, but this one year has also been a testament that gratitude is no longer a necessity, but a necessity. Hence, the best way to begin this address is to acknowledge the people who have left their mark on this journey. Our professors and our principals, we are eternally grateful for your teachings within and beyond design that has led us to a very empowering and a meaningful experience throughout. Also, my heartfelt thanks to all the administration, IT, canteen and staff, maintenance staff members for their continuous assistance, along with my affectionate thanks to student council and all the volunteers for orchestrating this event. To each parent watching this event, including mine, we are indebted with your ever-growing support and love. So we thank you for everything. My friends, five years is quite a time, long enough that people significantly grow through this half a decade. But did we realize that while we were growing up, this place was too? From the times of studying in the mess hall to now enjoying the perks of the recent transformations, it's been quite a ride. From the times when one could hardly spot any student post 5 p.m. in the college to now when you can still file people at 5 a.m. in the morning preparing for the pinup at 9.30. From the times when sport was hardly a leisure activity to now when we bring home championship titles, from making a name of ourselves out there to hosting some successful annual events, it has always been a work in progress, as all good things should be. And when you're a part of something that's growing, it gives you a sense of contribution. And with the sense of contribution comes a sense of fulfillment. Which reminds me of some odd day in March last year, when we were sitting with our friends at college, and we did not even realize that it was our last time. It almost felt like having a great meal, but without an aftertaste. The pandemic might have stolen a fitting end to the story of our five years, but I ask you, did it steal its meaning? What is this meaning? Sometimes I truly wonder that as creators, what are we really trying to seek? New ideas to explore, a project that will be remembered, a chance to reinvent things and solve problems, or perhaps all of this is just an opportunity to reach the moments that truly, truly matter the moment of connections that matter, the experiences that make and shapes us, the effect we have on the people around us, the laughter and the love that goes around, that's what matters. And when I look at things from this side of the spectrum, even the word fulfillment falls short. From now on, we all have our varied paths to seek our purpose of doing things. Yet before I end this address, I would like to add that one way we can define our lives is with the worth of our time. And the worth of this time can be defined by the experiences we have in its moments experiences of all kinds, joy, sorrow, thrill, and even fear, ebbs of everything. No matter whatever you do, allow yourself to get completely soaked and dissolved into it. Do it so well that the creation itself remembers its creator. Seize it so well that the moments miss you back more than you miss the moments. So long with being in the pursuit of purpose, I hope you also go after the pursuit of experiences. Class of 2015, and in fact, to every student present here, Congratulating you today for this speech would be an understatement because I believe all of us are capable of doing remarkable things in our own ways. Thank you and Godspeed. Thank you so much, Jay, for sharing your journey. I request Professor Snehal Nagarshet to kindly join us on the dais. I'm sure all you graduating students sitting out there have had a lot of anxiety, and so have I. And in that moment of anxiety, I forgot to invite Mr. Nakul Sharma, who, who's supposed to give us the valedictorian speech on behalf of his cohort of MIPD. I request Nakul Sharma to kindly come up on stage and deliver the valedictorian speech. Greetings, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank our management, our faculties, and I'm very grateful and thankful to see everyone after the pandemic. Thankful to God, thankful to life. And uh, on behalf of MIPD and MUD, I would like to thank the administration for coordinating such a wonderful and smooth operations online during the pandemic. We have a very special bond with our faculties, which will stay for the lifetime. And 
from unlearning to the thesis project it's been an amazing and wonderful journey and i thank each one of you for all the hard work and all the vision you've got all the wisdom you bring to anantyu we have an impactful and grateful vision ahead thank you so much thank you so much nakul for sharing with us your journey we will now begin conferring the degrees to the students of school of architecture from the batch of 2016 2021 May I request Professor Snehal Nagarshet, Dean, School of Architecture, to kindly rise and confer the degrees to our students. I would request Professor Jasmine Gohil, Dean, Academic Affairs, to kindly join Professor Snehal in doing the same. I will in sequence announce the name of the students who are going to be conferred the degree online. Mr. Aditya Patel, Mr. Ashwa Ashwan Pathan, Ms. Dharmi Vasani, Ms. Kalgi Patel, Ms. Milly Nasit. Miss Princey Menezes, as and Miss Vishwa Devani. The next sequence is the sequence of students who are present with us here physically. I would first request Miss Yukta Trivedi to kindly come up on stage and receive the certificate. Can we have a big round of applause for the students con being conferred the degree? Ms Aditi Shah Ms Amu Devanand Ms Ayushi Gandhi I would request the students to kindly pause for a moment for a picture. Ms Ayushi Meena Mr Birud Trivedi Mr Bhavya Mistri Mr Darshan Sojitra Mr Devansh Shah Ms Devanshi Shah Ms Dhairya Thakkar Mr Dhruv Agarwal Ms Disha Shah Faria Mirza Hardik Darzi Harsh Khandelwal Heet Patel Heet Pathak We don't have uh, Hitarth Sejpal physically present here with us so we are going to confer him the degree online Next we have with us Ms Jaini Shah
Miss Jaimini Parekh. Miss Jui Chandora. Miss Juhi Bhavsar. Mr. Kairav Mehta. Miss Kushali Shah. Are you all tired? So can we continue with the round of applause? Miss Shitika Shah. Mr. Kush Shah. So we have a lot of fans of Kush. Miss Mansi Darzi. Miss Meeti Akhani. Miss Noreen Chamrawala. Mr. Pankaj Devnani. Miss Parthvi Parmar. Mr. Prasham Shah. Mr. Premal Desai. Miss Preya Shah. Rachid Joshi. Miss Radhika Gupta. Mr. Rathin Shah. Miss Ria Fadadu. Mr. Rohan Gajar. So Rohan seems to be having the maximum fan following. Mr. Sachin Banya. Sheel Bardia. Ms. Shivani Patel. Shubham Mokani. Mr. Siddharth Prasad. Ms. Stefina Paliel. Tarang Mevada. Urvashi Pillai. Vedehi Patel. Yash Patel. Mr. Yash Suthar. Mr. Aditya Choksi. Ms. Anushka Multani. Ms. Devanshi Dhingra. Devanshi Patel. Ms. Fenny Palan. Ms. Kamya Melvani. Uh, Kamya is not with us uh, physically. 
So we'll go to the next uh, student, Ms. Preshita Kavar. Okay, Preshita is also not available with us. Next we have with us Riddhi Shaked. Mr. Ravi Gajar. Mr. Ashutosh Patel. Mr. Jainil Miyani. Mr. Jugal Gajar. Mr. Kush Choganwala. Ms. Nishtha Devani. Mr. Prateek Patel. Shushant Singh. Urmil Trivedi. Vidhi Trivedi. Vraj Shah. And lastly, Yash Shah. Yash seems to top the list in his fan following. I would now request Professor Snehal to please stay back. And I would request our honorable dignitary, Sri Ishwar Bhavsar, to kindly rise and confer the awards to the students from batch of 2016 2021. So the first award category is the Academic Excellence Award. Do we have any guesses? We have, we have a lot of mixed names, but the award goes to Ms. Noreen Chamrawala. Noreen, I would request you to kindly come up on stage and receive the award. May we have a big round of applause for Noreen Chamrawala. The next award is the best student award. Any guesses for the best student? We have a lot of names for Rohan. But I'm sorry, the best student award goes to Mr. Siddharth Prasad. Okay. The next award is the best thesis award. And for a change, we don't have a tie, but we have three candidates winning the best thesis award for the SOA batch of 2016, 2021. The first student is Mr. Harsh Khandelwal. Harsh was guided by Professor Sandeep Paul. The next student receiving the best thesis award is Rachid Joshi. Guided by Professor Snehal Nagarshet.
the third recipient for the best thesis award is Ms. Radhika Gupta, guided by Professor Jasmine Gohil. Can I request Radhika to kindly come up on stage and receive the award? Thank you so much, Professor Snehal and sir, for doing the honors. I would now request our student, Ms. Meeti Akhani from batch 2015-21 to kindly come up on stage and share her experiences at Anantyu and deliver the valedictory address on behalf of her cohort. The stage is all yours. Uh, good evening, everyone. And I owe you one, ma'am. And the following would be the one. So uh, I'm really grateful to Anand National University for giving me this opportunity to share my words on behalf of Batch 2016. And I also welcome all the dignitaries to this ceremony. Felicitations to all the students passing out in this epic year. Aren't we all graduating with a million dollar education that was luckily 75% off for us. Justification being, we are all debut launch models of this university. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I must admit that the academic exposure that we have gained is undoubtedly valuable towards the beginning of our journey. But there were many life learning lessons that happened outside the classroom. Like we learned how to plan budgeted RSPs, we got into fights, we also bunked classes, but we always had someone for us to sign the attendance. From learning the straight lines to printing the perfect size, from making basic design models and rushing to SketchUp files, from chilling at Rajbhai's to this canteen right in the middle of everyone's eyes, from taking long walks in the greens and now seeing this hostel reels from meeting the first female chief minister to being blessed with the Pritzker award winner. And last but not the least for this convocation to being cheering these dreams. So change is not something foreign to all of us at ANU, especially to our batch. I literally remember that every year when I came back from summer vacations, I felt like a freshman all over again because First of all, I had to confirm whether certain buildings cease to exist anymore. Above all, we have seen the days from Anant Institute of Architecture to Anantyu, but our sentiments hail the words Anant National University. A special mention to all my batchmates. We bloom through this new adventure of our, of our lives. Some call being a grown up. I call this the end of freeloading. We will make mistakes and we will overcome them. But more often than mistakes, it will always help us grow. Definitely, all of us have grown with our physical characteristics, but also have transformed personalities. The transformation is clearly indebted to all our professors cultivating us with their unconditional love and support, the ones who never missed a chance to mark their presence in those lovely juries and even in the adverse situation of pandemic. Special thanks to Professor Jasmine Gohil for molding us in our best versions and to Professor Snehal Nagashed for being the constant source of inspiration. Well, I have realized in architecture that it's incomplete without this hidden lines. The lines co-joined by parents, teachers, staff, juniors and seniors, everyone who played the roles to help us climb this ladder. And today we made it here together. So thank you each and everyone over here. Work hard, be kind, be brave, take risk, and the world is incomprehensible and full of surprises. All the very best for your future. This is me, Meeti Akhani, signing off.
Thank you. Thank you so much, Meeti, for putting your word, putting your experiences in words so beautifully. And I'm so glad that I was a part of your journey as well at Anantyu. We will proceed with the degree conferring to the Space Design School of Design. I would request Director of School of Design, Professor Anubha Kakru, to kindly rise to confer the degrees. Hmm? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I will first begin with the sequence of the students who are joining online. So the first student is Miss Harry Her Koyani. Can we have a big round of applause for the students receiving the degree? Miss Inar Parekh. Miss Dhairya Shah. And Miss Sachi Shah. I would now request the students who are physically present here with us to kindly come up on stage and receive their certificates. Mr. Akshat Agarwal. Ms. Aarti Rajpurohit. Ms. Ayushi Khalas. Ms. Bansi Majitia. Ms. Devanshi Patel. School of Design, you need to buck up. Ms. Haley Shah. Ms. Harry Hirpara. Ms. Himani Shah. Ms. Janvi Jobanputra. Jaswinder Chavla. Karina Karamchandani. Kervi Vachani. Ms. Miloni Shah. Priya Datani. Can we have a big round of applause for all our students receiving their degrees? Ripal Kathiria. Ms. Shaimi Shah. Ms. Simoni Shah. Ms. Zalak Patel. Ms. Zinkal Shah. Dipiksha Doshi. Ms. Drashti Choksi. Ms. Juhi Patel. Ms. Malvi Soni.
Miss Nancy Sony. Miss Pooja Sudra. And Miss Rajvi Patel. I would now request our honorable dignitary, Sri Lalchan Soni, to please join Professor Anubha Kakru in conferring the awards to the students of space design from the batch of 2016 2020. The first award for space design batch 2016 2020 is the Academic Excellence Award. And the Academic Excellence Award goes to Miss Heri Hirpara. Can we have a big round of applause for Heri? The next award is the best student award and the best student award from space design goes to Miss Nancy Sony. Nancy is not available with us here. So we are going to con Okay, in my list, it says online. I'm sorry, Nancy, I, I request you to kindly come up on stage and receive the award for the best student. Congratulations, Nancy. The next and the final award for the space design is the best thesis award. And the best thesis award goes to Ms. Karina Karamchandani, guided by Professor Chaitali Shet. Can I request Karina to kindly come up on stage? Congratulations, Karina, and I would request you to kindly stay back here to deliver the valedictorian address on behalf of your cohort. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Hello. Good evening, one and all present here. I warmly welcome our honorable chief guests, respected teachers and administrators to this event. Uh, I would like to start by thanking my parents uh, for their love and support. And on behalf of the cohort to, to 2016, I would like to especially thank all the faculty members who have taught us over the course of past four years. I thank all for coming forward and generously sharing your knowledge, time and talent. We will never forget the difference you have made and the management without whom this event would not be possible. I feel lucky to have been chosen 
to speak before all of you today and reflect on our collective journey in this university. If I were to think of one word to reflect uh, on our uh, journey in this university, that will be exceptional. As the first batch of Anand U, it was challenging but exciting at the same time. Congratulations. We have made it through 1500 days of assignments, studio juries, and redo sheets. We have grown and evolved from the times where the biggest worry was what to wear to the freshest party to this moment where we see ourselves ready to step into the real world. In the end, it's about this. Look to your left and to your right. Sitting next to you are the same people with whom you spend your four years of life. The same people who are ready to take a leap into the future with you. Remember the late night submission work that turned into gossip sessions, numerous phone calls, countless Zometo orders, juries, working drawing sheets, and the 75% attendances compulsory phase. Remember protesting together in the batch groups to postpone the juries to the staybacks at college from having only two, three boys classmates to the only girls batch. We have come a long way as individuals and as batch. And as, the Winnie, as Winnie the Pooh said, and I quote, I can't help but think how lucky we are to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. It's graduation day, a day of mixed emotions while we are at the threshold of a new life. We are both ecstatic and anxious. Where we will be in 10 years? Would we have our own practice, own a car, a house, have a family? Where are we headed? I say it's okay to be confused and unsure. We don't have to answer all these questions, not at least tonight. So let's party hard and celebrate the badge of 2020. We have earned it. Let's hold on to this moment for as long as we can. Let's remember it as a milestone in a lifetime of learning. If we meet again, we shall smile. And if we don't, we can say that we parted on a good note. Na jane ye fir kab hoga, keh do dosto, dubara sab hoga. Kya ye din wapas a paayenge? Kya hum fir se dost aise bana paayenge? बहुत कुछ कहना अभी बाकी है कुछ और साथ शायद बाकी है जिंदगी में मिलने की फरियाद करते रहना अगर अगर मिल ना सके तो कम से कम याद करते रहना ऑल द बेस्ट एवरीबॉडी थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू करीना दैट वाज ब्यूटीफुल वी नाउ कम टुवर्ड्स द एंड with the last set of degrees conferring to the space of design batch 2017-2021. I request Director of School of Design, Professor Anubha Kakru to kindly rise to confer the degrees. I will first say the names of the students who are joining us online. So the first student is Ms. Grishma Patel. The next student is Mr. Mr. Karm Parekh. I would now request the students who are physically present here to kindly come up on the stage and receive your certificates. Ms. Ashka Pandya. Ms. Ashka Pandya. May, I, may we have a big round of applause? Ms. Aneri Patel. Ms. Dhruvi Rawal. Ms. 
Ms. Dhwani Shah. Ms. Drashti Chandrana. Harsh Padiyar. Ms. Hetvi Shah. Ms. Hetvi Shah again. Isha Shah. Jay Rayani. Ms. Jeenal Shah. Karthik Jangir. Ms. Kavisha Jani. Ms. Kelly Patel. Ms. Krisha Shah. Ms. Mansi Panchal. Ms. Mitasha Mehta. Ms. Mohisha Nagwani. Ms. Nandini Kriplani. Ms. Palak Savsani. Ms. Payal Shah. Ms. Pranjali Desai. Ms. Prapti Panchal. Ms. Prutha Shah. Ms. Riddhi Sangvi. Ms. Riya Patel. Shelja Lodia. Shaiva Pandit. Mr. Sharvil Bhavsar. Shilang Shah. Ms. Shilpi Morbia. Ms. Siddhi Thakrar. Ms. Tarisha Janwani. Ms. Vedehi Panchal.
विधि गजर मिस्टर विरांश शाह जनकार हरानी जील पंचाल जानवी जानी एंड विश्वा पटेल I would request Professor Anubha Kakru to please stay back, so that we can confer the uh, the awards for the space design batch of 2017-2021. So the first award is for the category of academic excellence. Do we have any guesses? The student who gets the academic excellence award is Miss Kelly Patel. Kelly, may I please request you to kindly come up on stage to receive the award? Congratulations, Kelly. The next award is the best student award. Do we have any names for the best student? The best student award goes to Miss Pranjali Desai. Can we have a big round of applause for Pranjali? And now we head towards the last award for today's ceremony, which is the best thesis award, Space Design, Batch 2017-2021. And the best thesis award goes to Mr. Viran Shah. Viranj, can I please request you to kindly come up on the stage? Viranj's thesis was guided by Professor Viral Arora. Congratulations to all the students who've received the awards and the degrees. And it is now time to hear from our last student, Ms. Pranjali Desai from the batch of 2017-2021 to kindly come up on stage and share her experiences at Anantyu. It was a casual Saturday. The last day we set foot into the university as students. As sordid as it may sound, it was a random day 
and the usual scenario was playing out. Half the students hunch over the desks, finishing our due sheets, loud music echoing our ears, courtesy to our in-house DJ Dwani, and the other half getting reprimanded for their work. With midterm knocking our heads cold and pending assignments turning us blue, we heaved a sigh of relief when the prime minister announced the 21 day long quarantine. If only we knew what it meant, what was to follow the 21 day long quarantine, perhaps we would have thanked our professors for tolerating us. Maybe we would have played the music a little louder, stayed a bit longer, would have taken time to say goodbye to our always renovating campus. And maybe, and maybe we would have taken a bittersweet sweet walk down these lobbies and out of the college gate that last day while reminiscing, creating and collecting as many memories as we could. Good evening to all present here. This is Pranjali Desai from School of Design and the valedictorian for the graduating batch of 2017. I like to take this opportunity to warmly welcome all our chief guests, the management, faculty and staff, friends and family, and the graduating batch of 2017. I'm honored to stand here before you today to collectively represent my batch and our experiences. This day has monumental importance for many reasons. It marks the end of an era for the class of 2017. And so, as I sat to write the speech, I was told it should be sincere, but funny, of course. Inspirational, but not boring. And mostly, by the end of it, I'm hoping to see a few smiling faces and a few weeping ones, mind you. I've put in a lot of efforts here. <laughs> it feels like yesterday, walking into the gates of university as freshmen and searching for a familiar comforting pace in the crowd. From being a freshman to graduating today, I've had a roller coaster of a journey. Each assignment in jury, curating and managing events and fests, running from one meeting to another, working for a newsletter, from being a member of the student council to later being able to run it with, along with my fellow mates, a true sense of ownership, confidence and leadership emerged within me. And for this, I'd like to thank the university for providing the platform. As cliche as it may sound, we're always going to remember what it feels like to be a student. Waking up Monday mornings was never an easy task, which my friend, which my dear friend Krisha can always testify to. All those tea breaks and case studies turning into class bunks, sitting in the cafeteria for hours, sparked numerous exchange of ideas and debates over design, which more often than I like to admit, turned into mind numbing gossip sessions. The anxiety before a jury, and after looking at the number of redo sheets, burning the midnight oil, dreading the moment before the jurors walked in, the absolute chaos before a deadline, and the hubbub of pinning up sheets and always yelling, jaye pin up karwa de. <laughs> to running to class screaming, yesha mem attendance le re, we ran for our lives. <laughs> for all of this, I like to thank and apologize to our dear professors for always enduring all the mischief and mayhem we bring with ourselves, or especially during the RSPs. Good Lord, we are a crazy bunch, aren't we? <laughs> From Dexter Sir's challenging questions to Neha Ma'am's calming guidance, I'd like to thank all our professors for putting up with us and imparting the knowledge that we'll always carry. I'd like to especially thank Chaitali Ma'am for all her support and guidance, which has helped us sail through these past four years. With the blink of an eye, the years passed, the classes skipped, the juries given, attendance missed, friendships made, and knowledge gained. These past four years will always hold a significance in our lives more so than we can ever imagine. Anantyu has given us a lot and an abundance. This is where we all began our journey in the field of design. And I'm sure I can vouch for my fellow mates when I say this, Anantyu has helped us fashion ourselves to become who we are today. Today, we stand on the precipice of future. It's no more a distant reality. Our next chapter in life begins here and today. Each one of us on our own paths, but what shall remain unabated are the challenges we'll face on, on this journey together. 
And as I ask each one of you to look around, for this is where the inspiration lies. More often than required, we look outside for inspiration. But I see it right here among us. By staying true and committed to our lofty goals, we shall continue to inspire ourselves and our fellows to achieve new heights each day. Here, as I say this, I'm reminded of Aristotle, who said, the roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. I say this to urge all of you to educate yourselves on worldly matters. We are the youth and we must be prepared to engage the world. And so as we leave here today, celebrate what you've accomplished, celebrate how far we have all come, celebrate your successes and your failures with an eye for the future because world, we are coming. Thank you. Such heartfelt words, Pranjali. Thank you so much for sharing your journey. Before I head towards the conclusion of this ceremony, may I request Ms. Kamya Milwani from the batch, from the School of Architecture, batch 2016, who was missed out uh, conferring her degree. So I would request Professor Snehal Nagarshet to kindly rise up and confer the certificate to Kamya. Can we have a big round of applause for Kamya? Thank you, Professor Snehal. With this, we come towards the end of today's ceremony. I take the pleasure of thanking our keynote speaker and chief guest, Padma Shri Balakrishna Doshi, for connecting with us virtually. I would also like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to President Mr. Ajay Piramal for connecting with us virtually. Provost Dr. Anunay Chaube, the dignitary seated on the stage, the deans, directors, faculty members, staff, and parents who are joined with us virtually for your presence on this special occasion. And most importantly, it is time to bid a final adieu to our graduating students with bittersweet memories, only with the hope that you shall forever remain connected to your alma mater. We at Anant wish you the very best for all your future endeavors. May you all shine like the brightest stars. Let's have a big round of applause for all of you. A little louder. You all deserve it. We must not forget that we are in a formal event. I would now request all of you to kindly rise for the national anthem. I would also request you to remain standing at your seats as the academic profession, uh, procession will leave the way it came after the national anthem. I would also request, I would also like to make a small announcement that since we are running a little ahead of time, we will, I would request all of you to, to gather at the Anantyu courtyard for a delicious dinner after the ceremony. Can I request? Thank you.